Hi folks, welcome to Floating Ideas. Uh, this video came about because one day I was outside of my boat um, trying to adjust my TV area to get a good signal. And a young lady came up to me and started chatting to me. Apparently she'd actually viewed my boat before I bought it. And one of the first things she mentioned was that uh, about the boat that she didn't like uh, was the lack of furniture. And although my boat is relatively well equipped, the one thing um, that was uh, quite lacking was furniture in the lounge. Um, it appears that there was some um, original furniture built in because um, you can still, still see um, parts of the wall where there is no uh, there's no veneer, uh, no finish on it and obviously some kind of furniture was built over that part um, but it didn't seem to have a huge amount of furniture in when it was originally designed it wasn't making much use of the space apparently according to the plans I've seen um, and in its, re in its uh, replacement there was um, the only thing that the boat had was a fold out futon style um, slatted bed and when folded up as a settee, it was very low to the floor. You were basically sitting about a foot off the floor. And if anybody's ever been on a narrow boat in the winter, you'll know that that part of the boat doesn't really ever get very warm. Um, you know, you're shivering there for a great, great deal of time. Um, for, for a week or two, I was actually using cardboard to fan the air around to make sure the lower sections of the boat actually got some heat. Anyway, I eventually raised it up on some wooden blocks. Um, but after three months, um, it became a bit tiresome um, eating off your lap, um, holding your laptop on your, on your knees and just when I make things I tend to do soldering, that sort of job, um, and DIY things that, that really I need a desk for. Uh, and obviously now I've had a go at YouTube, um, a desk for the laptop's really uh, quite useful for editing videos etc. So. Um, I looked online, uh, the usual places like Argos or um, Ikea, and what was ready-made. I was limited by the size of them. They were either, you know, too low, uh, too usually too big. Um, they're all fixed, so I was going to basically lose that space of the desk. And I started thinking about it. Could I actually make something. Could I make a desk myself? Um, preferably one that would fold down. And I thought about it, and the more I thought about it, the only thing I really needed was the top. Um, if I could buy a top, then sure, it's just a question of fixing it to the wall so it'll hinge, and making some kind of legs or supports for it. So that's where I went. Um, and this is my desk, and I'm very pleased with it, and it's very useful. I can do work on it, neat at it, and um, it's, it's made a big difference. So um, I hope you enjoy it, and um, as you see, it's relatively cheap and simple to make. And in fact, as I said in my um, uh, description, I reckon uh, it may be a captain's table, but a cabin boy could make it. So if you need one, give it a go. Well, let's see how it comes apart. It's quite easy to do. All you have to do is um, pull back the bolt on the right hand side and the other side is a leg that you remove and place it at the back I've actually stuck it on top of a little uh, skirty board and it all folds down and the seat goes against it I'm going to get a little uh, pipe clip to fit the uh, seat to I'll put it back together just as quick, just lift it up, take the leg out, fit the leg in the little register on the floor and the register underneath on the, on the inside of the um, desk and then you just slip the bolt in and that's done. I'll just explain how I actually built it. Um, the desktop is quite heavy but what I actually found was um, one of the big cardboard boxes from one of my earlier deliveries with a few shoe boxes and bits and pieces I can manage to um, support the table at the right height and having marked, previously marked on the wall with a bit of masking tape 
Uh, the screws, um, the hinges were just screwed onto the tabletop first. The tabletop was then pushed against the wall in the right place. And I carefully uh, put one hinge into the woodwork and then fitted the second hinge when I knew it was all level. Uh, there's no spirit levels uh, really because boats move about but what you can do is measure from your existing decor and floor to work out your heights. So the hinges are on, the desk is attached, the next thing was to prop it up approximately level and put the bolt into the uh, woodwork. Now this bit is just a piece of off cut of the leg. I just make two, two pieces you cut out and you screw one to the floor at the bottom of the leg and one underneath the tabletop. Make sure you use the right length of screws so it doesn't show poke through. Cut along these lines. It's then a question of just cutting a leg to the right height. Um, just to make it neat. Just mark it around. Good for this. Put on it. She got the cut going. If you like simple things to make, um, why not have a look at my video on how to make a solar water heater. It's uh, even more simpler than this, there's only really one piece you actually, actually had to drill a hole in and the rest of it was all clicked together using mostly garden parts. So why not take a look, I've included the link for that. There's a leg which is uh, made of white plastic downpipe. Um, I actually originally bought mine uh, from Screwfix as a bag of six because it worked out cheaper because I needed the pipes for another project. Well, and I've still got lots left over. But you can buy them in individually. Um, the, the brass door hinges came as a pack of three. I think I bought those from uh, Wix. Um, but I only used two of them, so I've still got one left over. Uh, the brass dog lead bolt, I think I bought that from Wix as well. And the tabletop, I bought that from Office Reality Limited, and I'll give you their um, URL shortcut in the description. And also, this is the web page that I bought my product from. And then, a few odds and sods were the screws, um, making sure that they were the right um, size to actually fit into my. Um, walls or the actual table and the floors. Um, I didn't want them uh, protruding too much, on the other hand I need to have a secure uh, fitting for the table. And apart from that it was a very straightforward build. If you want to see more of my videos uh, go to the description and just click on the channel icon uh, next to the words. Thanks for watching and to next time.